Mexico lose 0-0. At home against Costa Rica. Those are the words of Tata Martino after the match at Azteca, where there were only Herc, only 2,000 fans. They were pre selected, they were registered, and still we heard <laughs> Fuera Tata at the Azteca. I I'm sure there are, are many mistakes he made in this match against Costa Rica. What was the, the biggest mistake for you? His decision making. You want to start with the lineup, you want to start with who wasn't there, Alexis Vega your best player versus Jamaica, doesn't start. Diego Lyon is a player who did very well coming off the bench, doesn't even feature. And then where do you want to go? You want to talk about him rolling the dice again with Funes Mori? Yet again, the striker was not effective. He was not even present. I mean, he was one of the worst players on the field again. He almost seemed like he was getting in the way. And I'm talking about that goal that was called back on the offsides where Tecatito could have potentially been the one mm -hmm. to finish that off. And then how about the in-game adjustments? If Edson Alvarez gets injured, you're holding midfielder. Don't put Luis Romo in Orbelin Pineda with Hector Herrera as a six. It was Romo and Pineda as eights, and Romo found himself wide at times. Herrera, the lone man, holding it down there, when you know, you know that Costa Rica is sitting back with one guy up front and Joel Campbell who absolutely abused you in transition. Ooh. If you know this, if you know that Acha Acha is good at certain things, being a deep line playmaker, but physically cannot cope with the demands anymore, then don't leave him there by himself. Just the decision making in general was wow. Mm. Yeah, there's a couple other guys you didn't mention in terms of decision making. Uh, he, he's sticking with the same outside backs, Gallardo and, and Jaca Rodriguez. Yeah. I mean, it's just over and over and over again, and I don't know how many more opportunities these guys need to get before we realize, Herc, they may be decent enough for, for a CONCACAF level, for a Gold Cup group phase, not, but for where Mexico wants to go, they are not the outside backs of the future. I don't even think they're the outside backs of the present, and yet we keep seeing them time and time That's again. But for me, the issues, the issues of Tata Martino, as much as we, we can focus in on the selection, it's all for me the emotional stuff. It's the baggage that is clearly left over from this guy offering his resignation to the team. It's the baggage that's clearly left over from him banning the top goal scorer in Mexican national team history in Chicharito and the fact we still have to talk about that because there's not another number nine that's scoring. There is a <clears throat> beyond soccer funk. There's like an existential funk, a stench right now around this Mexican national team. And I think a lot of the reasons why, at the end of the day, Herc, trickle down or fall back to this manager. And as much as we focus on the field, I got to think, man, he has, he has very much, if, if he hasn't already, he's very, very close to losing this locker room off the field. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.